What up, y'all? Here for uh, another edition of CBD. Klopp's Breakdowns. CBD Breakdown. I gotta change that shit. Anyways, this is Rom Klopp's here for another breakdown. It's wannabe semifinals. We got four crazy MCs. We got Freon versus Wave. Freon Flows versus Wave Phenom. And we also got who we gonna do right now? Stigma and Ortega. Oh, damn. That's a fire matchup. Never thought I'd get to see that. Man, I've been waiting for this to happen. Since last season, the season before, when he was judging, finally coming to an epoch. This is going to be good. Let's get into it. Hang it up a little bit. Benjamin. Benjamin. <laughs> You're a never been. You would never get a better than shit. <laughs> right off the hop, he called him Benjamin. Uh... <coughs> he hates being called Benjamin. <coughs> oh, that's hilarious. I gotta rewind that back. Yeah, you... Uh... Benjamin. <laughs> You're a never been. Mm. You would never get a better than shook. Yeah, you be graphic, but the graphic showed that you wasn't even better than Cook. What if we would have switched places? Why could it be Ed by... So he's basically saying that Ed and Cook are in the same category and that he himself, Mr. Ortega, is a veteran. 12 paces and me and... Yeah, you be graphic, but the graphic showed that you wasn't even better than Cook. What if we would have switched places? Why could it be Ed by about 12 paces and me and you would have never been booked? Let's stop the chit chat. That's a nice multi. You be Ed by about two points. You want to know why this shit said? Because you told. Yeah, you be Ed by two points. But if you look at the battles before where you judging, he did beat him by more. But I digress. That he would need a places. Why could it be Ed by about 12 paces and me and you would have never been booked? Let's stop the chit chat. Okay. You beat Ed by about two points. You want to know why this shit said? Because you told him that he would need a deep fake in order to beat you. Yeah. And you can barely skin graft. It's about to get bad. Right, nice. Make sure Good your hands take in your wrist too. strap. The entire reason that battle rap even exists is to resolve conflict. Okay. And I'm supposed to have beef with a dude from a place called Labrador. Dog, stop it. Which you could not process. He's from Newfoundland. It says Newfoundland and Labrador. From Newfoundland, but I get you're going with the Labrador scheme, so I ain't gonna hate on it. That was nice. Online doesn't hit as hard to resolve conflict, from and I'm supposed to have beef with a dude from a place called Labrador. Dog, stop mm. it! Which you could not process. If online battle rap didn't exist, mm -hmm. neither would you, and that's not nonsense. Your entire culture has never been involved. With so you're basically saying that if it wasn't for battle online battle rap, he wouldn't exist. So you're saying that he's not doing anything in his area locally. Da, 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 da. The hip hop scene in Newfoundland is not very big at all. But like you said, it's still that's the direct shot. I'll give you that. That's nice. Streets. Stop it, which you could not process. If online battle rap didn't exist, neither would you. And that's not nonsense. Your entire culture has never been involved with the streets. King of the Dot says hip hop lives in the north, but you way too far to the east. I ain't saying that you gotta go pop any guns or go start any beefs, but every single rapper that I know has had some sort of struggle to bring. You live inside a bubble to me, and this for every single lie that I've heard come from your teeth. You told Tally. That you would gun butt him when two Trey eights. Oh, he was acting violent. But you were a paintballer turned rapper, so watch how I mastermind this. I like how you were leading up to that. That was nice. <clears throat> but the paintball thing, I've known him a long time, and motherfucker never played paintball since I known him. So after talking to him, like that was an old pick that you drew from. But the scheme is coming up is nice. So I can't hate on you for that. Like, there's a lot of things that, like, you are direct, and you got some nice bars. 
it's just a lot of the references are some older stuff and some stretchy stuff because he doesn't like you know you're saying and labrador which is like all right you can't hate on people for shit like that because they're not even from the same country you know if you lived in newfoundland i mean if you lived in canada be a different story then i could be harder on you right it's you with gun butt starting these beefs, Everyone but every it. single rapper that I know has had some sort of struggle to bring. Yeah. You live inside a bubble to me, and this for every single lie that I've heard come from your teeth. You told Tally that you would gun butt him when two Trey ate. Oh, he was acting violent. But you were a paintballer turned rapper, so watch how I mastermind this. It makes a little sense that every gun bar he said has had a bit of gas behind yeah, it. Nice. Here's a tip, man. Get back to rhyming, because I just showed him. There's a bit of people were wondering about this, and he cleared it up, and it is true. Is a fucking company called Tipman. T-I-P-P-M-A-N-N. -N. So that, that was nice. Had a scheme or turned rapper, so watch how I mastermind this. It makes a little sense that every gun bar he said yep. has had a bit of gas behind yep, it. Here's nice. a tip, man. Get back to rhyming. Because I just showed him how to scheme inside of a personal, and he would know if he actually tried it. I can no that's longer nice hide the fact. Scheme. You have had. That was a really nice multi scheme. I don't know if it's directed, if it's that's good directed at him besides the whole paintball thing. Because, I mean, you're not like you're talking to someone who hasn't won last year and has been going pretty much undefeated. I mean, that's just my opinion. You know, I'm trying not to be biased at all because of my relationship with, with bro. But, you know what I mean? <clears throat> just being real, I'll be just as harsh to Ben. Just breaking it down. Start him and show him how to scheme inside of a personal. And he would know if he actually tried it. Mm -hmm. I can no longer hide the fact. You have had no stardom in the past. If I have judged the majority of your battle stigma, then I'm inspiring your craft. You are an entry-level puncher. Nice. This disguises how you rap. It's all your personal attacks. But if he doesn't know him, well, that exposes everything he lacks. I am crack, and I am more than just dangerous with the pen. You like disguises how you rap. It's all your personal battle stigma. Then I'm inspiring your craft. No longer hide the fact. You have had no stardom in the past. If I have judged the majority of your battle stigma, then I'm inspiring your craft. You are an like. no longer hide the fact. Yep. You have had no stardom in the past. Yeah. If I have judged the majority of your battle stigma, then I'm inspiring your craft. You are. That is true. He did judge the majority of his battles in wannabe, except for this season. Yeah entry-level puncher this disguises how you rap it's all your personal attacks but if he doesn't know him well that exposes everything he lacks i am nice. crack and i am more than just dangerous with the pen you like playing hockey and going paintballing with your friends saying that he's the crack not like crack cocaine but the actual crack in his game like he he made stigma he crack everything he lacks i am crack and I am more than just dangerous with the pen. You like playing hockey and going paintballing with your friends. That's a... You're actually... I don't know. That kind of sticks because... Because he... Because his name is Stigma, you could basically use stigmas against him. And Canadians and hockey is very synonymous. Ben doesn't play hockey, but it is synonymous. Dude doesn't even watch it, to my knowledge. Nor does he play paintball, but these things still can be directed at him. It's only because I know him so well do I know that it doesn't hit as hard. But the bars are nice. The multis are sick, and there's some really nice double entendres in there. This is a very dope round from Ortega. Um, <clears throat> I do have to give him credit. Um... Wave didn't like his round, and that's that's preference. That's fine. I did like this round. This was a good round. This was nice. Um, like I said, only because I know him do I know that it wasn't as direct as it could have been if he had a, you know. But I, I, it doesn't really matter because what? Does he have to be, like, super direct? Not really. He was direct in his own mind just by looking at him. So I think he did a good job. So let's get into Stigma. Stigma is how you're perceived. Ortega is who I really am.
That's easy, bro. Stigma is who you are perceived. You're perceived as a stigma. You're perceived as stigma, he means. No, you are perceived as stigma. Yes, because he's, he's stigma. And Ortega is who he really is. Fair enough. I was going to say, like, why is your name just your name, right? There was, like, a certain time in hip-hop where it's just, like, people just started using their real names. And then it just stuck, so I guess. Eric Ortega is one of those. Alright, now here's Stigma. Let's go. Hey, yo, just because you ain't new to mm -hmm. this... Don't mean that you should act so fucking hubris. Lose the illusion quick with a proof fist with your two lips. Eric, you always be nothing but conceited. Looking like <laughs> you came up from Daisy. He nothing but conceited. Cause. <laughs> uh... Constantine. Thank you. Thank you, Brain. Constantine. Um was supposed to be doing this with fucking James or something. So he's like basically saying, and then he backed out. So he's basically saying you're just in conceit, but it's, you're conceited. You're a conceited, but you're also conceited. I think that's a double or triple or quadruple. I don't know. Depends how many meanings he meant. I got to run that back. Out of his great and hubris, lose the illusion quick with a brute fist at your two lips. Eric, you always be nothing but conceited. <laughs> Looking like you came up from Daisy out of his grave, he's... Seeing the future today like palm reading. And after hearing Ortega tough talk, I know he's gonna try to outline me. That's fine. He clearly forgot mm. that for the past two years, I've been the one encompassing bodies in chalk. That's true. I see through Eric's phony intensity and what it intends to be. Mm. Looking like he belongs in intensity with high density. <laughs> How dense is he? In Ortega needs to brush it density. off, even your dentist agrees. Did you black toe before I entered the scene or paid an entry fee? Ortega mm. can't take a joke. So he's saying he's he plateaued before he even entered the scene. That's nice, because he's doing a bit of a flip how Ortega's saying he's the veteran and saying that he judged all his battles, and Ben's like, yeah, well, guess what? You plateaued before I even entered the scene, before I even gave him an entry fee. That's nice. Even his hands are to brush it off. Even your dentist agrees. Because <laughs> you plateaued before I entered agrees. the scene or paid an entry fee. Ortega can't take a joke, but he's a laughing stock, waving his hands across like a traffic cop. <laughs> I find it odd. The biggest joke in the life. <laughs> Waving his hands across like a traffic cop. <laughs> he does, though. I'll bring that back. Bobby doesn't need to brush it off. Even your dentist agrees. Because <laughs> you black toe before I entered the scene or paid an entry fee. Uh, or take a can't take a joke. No, he but can't. he's a laughing stock. Waving his hands across <laughs> like a traffic cop. That's hilarious. I find it odd. The biggest joke in the lobby doesn't have a humorous bone in his body. Nope. The shoulder, the front from unloading a shot. That's nice. Speaking humorous of shot bone. teeth, you got a jacked up grip. Brunt. And I ain't using the term light. I'm just curious how your teeth look worse than the Grinches with termites. Whoa. Listen, dog, you ain't doper than me. You can rot while your teeth decay. Rot You'd be a great you're... Dane on Earth when they retrieve your soul from my golden lab. Ortega's used to golden run in his mouth lab. like his rabies infested. Not drying a bath when this sociopath talks about his case. Like he likes skin. to refer to it like the youth and I. <laughs> dog, regardless if it's truth or lies, it'd be golden lab. Ortega's used to fight. I'm just curious how your teeth look worse than the Grinches with termites. Mm. Listen, dog, you ain't doper yeah. than me. You can rot while your teeth decay. You'd you be a great Dane on Earth when they retrieve your soul from my Earth. golden lab. Or take nice. used to run in his mouth like he's rabies infested. <laughs> not drawing a bath when this sociopath talks about his case. <laughs> oh, he's he rabies to to infested. Like not drawing a bath. Oh, my God. The body's going hard on the personals. Golden lab. Or take used to run in his mouth like he's rabies infested. Not drawing a bath when this sociopath talks about his case. He likes to refer to it like the youth and <laughs> dog, regardless if it's truth or lies, every father in the world just wishes that you were fucking euthanized. That's a nice double. This man don't need booze to get a buzz. His ego got him airlifted. Yeah. But if Ortega was the drink, let me guess. It'd be Gin Eric. I'll leave my round oh, down clean. That's a dope Stranger double. thing is, you admitted it like a confession. Since I yeah. came, I've been the face of wannabe. You're not even a subsection. Okay. Not gonna score all things without being willing to switch your rhyming man. No. See if Ortega's vector, I I'm guess a I'm a lead. <laughs> But this ain't true. The Ortega is phenomenal. That's a crazy double, crazy triple entendre. Special how. If you listen to what he said, forward.
be fouler. Oh my god. <laughs> Run that back once more. I'm not been the face of wanna be. You're not even a subsection. Mm -hmm. Not gonna score all things without being willing to switch your rhyming okay. method. See if Ortega's vector? I guess mm -hmm. I'm a leg. But this ain't the Ortega oh. show, so I'ma set the cash straight, direct the cut. Yep. See me season been anticlimactic. Fair, Acting yep. froggy, moving your hands like it's magic is all mm. I'm expecting when Eric Ortega's rapping. Yep. Surprised you ain't so ashamed that you change your name to something that fits your actions. Okay. Like perverted David oh Blaine. God. I'm not a genie Ortega, but you're attracted to lambs, right? Yeah. Out with your will now if you got something to save from your life. Cause I'll make sun go down. Okay. Could he turn day to night? Of course he can. It's time I send Moth Man to the light. Time. Yep, cause he's Moth Man. Likes to say that. I don't know why, but... Moth Man. That's his thing. It's the only other nickname he's got besides his last name. See, that round was fucking direct as fuck. He had a nice few doubles, entendres, triples, a couple quadruples, depending. I could draw some quadruples from it for sure. Man, that was a fire round. Stigma came hard with it this time, too, man. Like, fuck, man. He's setting up his schemes and then just going to boom, 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 boom. His flow and his energy with his cadence is crazy. This is a crazy battle. I'm so glad I don't got to judge this. Boat went ham. I give direct shots to Stigma. Performance was close, but I would edge it to Ben. To stick a uh, bars I would give to Ortega. He had some fucking really solid bars. Um, diction, uh, that's tough. Diction, diction might be pretty even. Both were pretty clear. Both are really good with their cadence. And I always forgets the fourth one. Probably why I didn't make it through. A bye. A bye. A bye. All right, that was a dope battle. That was fucking fire, man. Both y'all deserve to be there. I'm glad y'all rep representing this fucking season. God damn it, almost stuttered there. Means I need to. Splice a child. Spliffola. All right, next we got. Jamal Jenkins, aka Way Phenomena, aka Way Phenomena, versus Freon Flows, like a bumblebee. But he be doing shit, and he's here representing, man. That's a, a fire ass battle, too. I gotta listen to that one again. Motherfucking Wave said some shit. I gotta break it down. Alright. See you on the next one.